Good evening and welcome to Primetime News. I'm Salima Shimwe Feleni. Leading the bulletin tonight, veteran politician Kadenambo Kadenambo has said Swapo is a sinking ship. The honest Kadenambo says rests on its captain Hage Gengob and his lieutenants to rescue it or let it perish. He said this during an interview with this agency's politics desk reporter, Edward Mumbu, recently, which covered a number of issues. Man, you can need help. Gengob is a person who needs political and social help, whether you like it or not. He said the helm of this party, he said, there is no point of, of beating around the bush. There is no point. He, he, he must move from turning system into himself. Separate the two. Separate the two. And the, 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 that he can say that this is my party. <laughs> he took everybody aback. Which party? The party which thousands and thousands of Namibians have sacrificed for, including myself sitting here. Man, I was shot at. I was militarily shot at. Gengo and Sam Nyoma and the likes have never been shot at. How does Swapo become Gengo's party? I'm telling you, personally sitting here, at my younger age, I was shot at with live bullets for Swapo. Gengo and Sam Nyoma, they were never shot at with live bullets. Where? But they are my leaders. They didn't need to be shot at with live bullets. But for them to stop listening to other members of Swapo, to say that not in my party, it hurts. It doesn't only hurt, it destroys. Simply because you are a leader, now the party is your personal property, to the point that you cannot listen to other people's grievances. Who are you leading? You only lead your friends and your wives and concubines? Can you record what I'm saying? Parties are not for friends, parties are not for concubines, parties for, for not, are not for women, for men snatchers. Parties are not for men snatchers. Parties are institutions that we have hate, people that are ugly, people that are unruly, people that are rebels, people what what. You steer the ship of which compose of people. For Gengo to say in my party, when did Trump begin his party? And he said it. And he practiced that. He must stop it. Namibia and Botswana on Thursday concluded the sixth and last session of the Namibia-Botswana Joint Permanent Commission of Cooperation. Alvi Hayambo compiled this report. The three-day session of discussion between ministerial delegations from the two countries was held virtually from 16 to 18 February 2021, during which they reviewed the implementation of bilateral agreements and memoranda of understanding in a wide range of sectors such as trade and investment, education, health, environment, tourism, energy, fisheries, cross-border connectivity, regional and local government. The discussions came against the backdrop of the working visit of President of Botswana, Mokhotse Masisi to Namibia on 29 January 2021, during which he was received by President Hage Gengob. During the visit, the two countries agreed to elevate their joint commission mechanism to a binational commission. Delivering her closing statement on Thursday, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of International Relations and Cooperation, Netumbo Nandindaitwa said, the discussions have set the stage for the inaugural session of the BNC, which according to her will effectively absorb the existing JPCC and the Joint Permanent Commission of Defense and Security. Our two heads of state have given us a responsibility to ensure that we do not fail the Namibian people and Botswana people in ensuring, in ensuring that our cooperation will continue to grow from strength to strength and to make meaning to the lives of our people. 
Nandin died were further implored the defense and security sectors of both countries to ensure that a bilateral meeting takes place before the inaugural session of the BNC as agreed upon during the working visit between the two heads of state. She further stated that she was pleased that the two nations have concluded a memorandum of understanding in trade, industrial development and investment. On his part, Botswana's Minister of International Affairs and Cooperation, Lamongan Kapua, said he was pleased that the bilateral cooperation of the nations have graduated to the level of the Binational Commission. The BNC will be chaired by the heads of state of both countries. Josephine Simeon, Nampa News. Chinese ambassador to Namibia, Chang Yiming, announced on Thursday that his government will donate 100,000 doses of COVID-19 vaccines to Namibia. Speaking during the donation ceremony in the capital on Thursday, Chinese ambassador to Namibia, Zhang Yiming, said the donation of vaccine is at the request of the Namibian government. He added that Namibia has also been listed among the priority countries to purchase the Chinese vaccine. Zhang said, since the first COVID-19 case was reported in Namibia, the Chinese government, enterprises, non-governmental organizations, and communities in Namibia have provided support to Namibia to assist the country in containing the spread of the virus. He noted that in June 2020, during the extraordinary China-Africa summit on solidarity against COVID-19, Chinese President Xi Jinping further made a commitment that once the development and deployment of the COVID-19 vaccine has been made completed in China, African countries would be among the first to benefit. The ambassador said China, despite difficulties including limitation of production, has decided to prioritize 53 African countries including Equatorial Guinea and Zimbabwe, which received batches last week. More African countries including Namibia are expected to receive the vaccine in coming weeks, he said. Josephine Simeon, Nampa News. Former First Lady Penehupifo Pohamba received a donation of 30,000 KN95 protective non-surgical masks from two United States-based care health companies on Thursday. The donation, valued at 1.2 million Namibian dollars, was initiated and organized by former UNESCO Namibia education researcher Bossen Lili Liu as part of cross-national donations in Africa and the Caribbean. Speaking at the handover ceremony, Pohamba said the donation has been long overdue as it was expected to arrive in Namibia in May 2020 when the novel coronavirus pandemic was at its peak. She however added that the donation has arrived at a time when it is needed the most as part of preventative measures against the spread of COVID-19 infections. I am glad the donation has finally arrived. As we say, better late than never. <coughs> we are now distributing them to the intended recipients. The donation is very much welcome as it has come at the time when it is needed most as part of our preventative measures against the spread of coronavirus. It will make a huge difference in the lives of many, particularly those medical professionals at the bottom front of the pandemic, including peace officer, officers. She also appealed to recipients of the masks to use them with care and to protect themselves and others. Meanwhile, speaking on behalf of the donors, media personality Joseph A. Longa said Namibia has been at the core of Liu's heart and that she hopes to continue supporting Namibia during the COVID-19 pandemic to further serve those in severe need of medical supplies. As the pandemic continues to expose us to tragedies and sadness of life, I think we have seen that in Africa, and as they are indicating, Africa is now reaching the 100,000 mark in deaths uh, due to COVID-19. I hereby call for all of us to spend a moment and to try and see a different side of the story, where love, care, and support have been shared by our dear friends. We are not alone. And we are never alone because we are humans and together we make humanity shine. The masks will, amongst others, be distributed to 43 district hospitals across the country, six government institutions, three maternal homes and four private hospitals. We'll be back shortly after the news roundup.
Welcome back. The Chinese Embassy and the Swakop Uranium on Wednesday donated one million Namibian dollars to First Lady Monica Gengos One Economy Foundation. Speaking at the handover ceremony in the capital on Thursday, Chinese ambassador to Namibia Zhang Yaming said the donation came after First Lady Monica Genkos briefed him about the significance of the Be Free movement, which among others aimed to alleviate youth unemployment and extreme poverty due to lack of working skills. He said as a result, his country's first lady Peng Liwan through the embassy has already donated a batch of supplies to the One Economy Foundation aimed at helping children, young people and women fighting COVID-19. Gengos in her acceptance speech noted that the donation will be used for a big beef free project that her office will reveal in due course. And I'm excited to speak about the beef free project that we are going to utilize these funds for. But in the next two weeks, we're going to unveil that project. It's an ambitious project. We're looking to raise 30 million Namibian dollars. And this 1 million is an absolute fantastic investment into that dream. Gengos thanked the embassy and the mining company for their investment, especially during the COVID-19 pandemic, where many companies are no longer investing in social issues due to economic reasons. Josephine Simeon, Nampa News. Minister of Agriculture, Water and Land Reform, Kale Schlettwein, on Wednesday visited Hoa Village in the Ndiona constituency of the Kavango East region, where the outbreak of foot and mouth disease was first detected last year. The foot and mouth disease outbreak was detected on 28 September 2020 by the Ministry's Directorate of Veterinary Services in Kavango East and has since spread to the Kavango West, Ohangwena, Oshikoto and Oshana regions. Schlattwein, before visiting Hoa, held a meeting with the regional leadership, which included Governor Bonifacius Wakudumo, traditional authorities and representatives of farmers in the region. During the meeting, the minister gave an update regarding the disease, saying a total of 150 staff members are on the ground to fight the spread of the disease and about 97 million Namibian dollars meant for equipment and logistics have already been sourced. We will return after the economics roundup. In sports news tonight, Namibia's young warriors face an uphill battle to reach the quarterfinals of the total under-20 Africa Cup of Nations after their 0-2 loss against Tunisia in Mauritania Thursday night. Namibia, which is in Group B alongside Burkina Faso, the Central Africa Republic and Tunisia, is currently lying third on the log, standing level on one point with Central Africa Republic, which is bottom of the group. We will return after the sports roundup.
That's all the news we had for you this evening. Many thanks for tuning in. If you're new to our channel, please subscribe, like, share, and click on the notifications bell to stay up to date with the latest happenings locally and globally. From myself, Selima Shimwe Feleni, and the entire Nampa crew, it's good night.